In this film, we're going to tell you what to expect when you have a pick insertion. A pick is a thin, flexible tube that is inserted into a vein in your upper arm, threaded along the vein so that the tip lies in one of the large veins in your chest, just above your heart. Picks are used for giving you treatments such as fluids and nutrition, medication, or for delivering blood transfusions. They can also be used to take samples of your blood for testing. You may be offered a pick to avoid the need of having repeated needle insertions. Picks can be in place for up to five to six months, but most are in place for a few weeks. You can eat and drink normally before the insertion procedure. You'll need to sign a consent form before your procedure. A nurse or doctor will go through this with you and you can ask as many questions as you like. The procedure takes about 30 minutes. Your pick will be inserted by a specialist nurse or doctor in a private room under sterile conditions. The nurse or doctor will prepare a trolley with the equipment needed to insert your pick. They will wear a mask, gown, hat and gloves to make sure that everything is kept as clean as possible. You will need to lie down and then the nurse or doctor will put drapes over you to make sure that the surrounding area is kept clean. You'll need to stretch out one arm to enable the pick to be inserted. The nurse or doctor will clean the area where the pick line is to be inserted. An ultrasound scanner is then used to help assess the most suitable vein for insertion of the pick. The sensor may feel cold against your skin, but the scan is painless. The nurse or doctor will inject a local anaesthetic to numb the area. You'll feel a slight sting when the local anaesthetic is applied, but after this, you shouldn't feel any discomfort. Once the skin is numb, the ultrasound is used while a fine needle is inserted into the vein. The outer part of the needle is removed, then the pick line is threaded through the tip of the needle in your arm into a large vein that leads to your heart. The insertion is usually painless and takes only a few minutes. End caps will be attached to the pick line, then a dressing is applied. During the insertion, you may be attached to a cardiac monitor to enable the nurse or doctor to guide the pick line into the correct position. Sometimes it can be difficult to thread the pick line through the vein. If this happens, the nurse or doctor will try again using a different vein. Once the pick has been inserted, you may need to have a chest x-ray to confirm the exact position of the line. If the x-ray shows the pick is not in the right place, the nurse or doctor may be able to move it. If this doesn't work, it will be taken out and replaced. Some people do feel anxious, even though the procedure is almost painless. You should talk to your nurse or doctor at any time if you're worried or feel uncomfortable. You may experience tenderness around the area of your upper arm where the pick was inserted. This is most common in the first week after the insertion. You can take over-the-counter pain relief, such as paracetamol. If the pain persists, you should contact the hospital. Your pick dressing and access point are usually changed once a week, unless they are loose or can't be kept clean, in which case they'll need to be changed sooner. To minimise the risk of infection or damage to your pick, you must avoid heavy lifting with that arm. But having a pick in place should not interfere with your everyday life. You can take a shower or a bath as long as you're careful to keep the pick dressing dry. Waterproof shower sleeves will be provided for this purpose. Swimming is discouraged to avoid submerging the pick in water, but you can play most sports that don't involve excessive upper body movement. You can go on holiday with a pick in place, but it's a good idea to discuss holiday plans with your medical team. If you have any doubts about living with your pick, just ask your nurse or doctor for advice. Having a pick insertion is a low risk procedure. You'll be recommended a pick because the potential benefits far outweigh the risks. Sometimes infections can develop despite the measures taken to avoid them. Sometimes a blood clot may form in the vein around your pick. You'll need to monitor yourself for signs of infection, including checking your temperature. It's important that you contact your hospital if you notice tenderness or redness or pus discharge from the pick site. 
or you notice that your hand or arm is swollen, or if you develop a temperature. When the dressing is being changed, the pick can sometimes be moved out of position slightly. If the pick line comes out by more than a few centimetres, its position will need to be checked, sometimes by taking a chest x-ray. If you have questions or concerns about any aspect of your pick, you should contact your hospital.